Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to this video. I literally just finished putting on another video, but I don't care. I cannot get enough of this camera. So right now we're going to talk about a Backlash preview. Backlash is this Sunday and man, it has all the makings of a shitty show. First off, we have Ty Dillinger versus Aiden English. Now logic would dictate that Ty Dillinger just debuted. This is his first pay-per-view match. He's got to win. It's on the pre-show. He's a face. All of this. But he's wrestled Aiden English twice now. And he's beaten him both of the other matches. So we're really going to see three matches go to Ty Dillinger? Yes, yes we are. It's going to be boring. I'll be tuning in. But uh, it'll probably be a weak match. Then we have Luke Harper versus Eric Rowan. The thing that jumps out to me about this match is that there was legitimately, yeah, this was the, this and the Ty Dillinger Aiden English match were the only matches that got no buildup on SmackDown this week. None. None. So, frankly, I do not know what the story is. I don't know who stood tall last. I have no clue. Um, I'd say Luke Harper's going to win just because, I mean, the company seems to have more faith in Luke Harper than Eric Rowan anyway. So, I mean, he's a former IC champ. Can't argue with that logic. Luke Harper. Then we have Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Baron Corbin against my gut. I like Baron Corbin more, I, I hope he wins, but logic would dictate Sami Zayn has to get a win sometime. But Baron Corbin just got screwed over at WrestleMania by Dean bitch-ass Ambrose. So, they both kinda need a win. But Sami Zayn is a designated loser on the show, so Baron Corbin. Hopefully he'll win. Dominantly. Dominantly. Then we have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dog Ziggler. Um, yeah, th this shouldn't even be a question. Shinsuke's gonna win this. I could not even think of a single situation where they give it to Dolph Ziggler. Because if you give the victory to Dolph Ziggler, then Shinsuke looks like an idiot. Especially with not having him debut for a month and a half. Unless he gets, like, DQ'd, but at which point the match hasn't... The feud hasn't been built up to that level to where he would need to get DQ'd like beating the piss out of dog so it's Shinsuke and then we have the women's welcoming committee versus team royal glow and fire I think that was what they called them so Naomi Charlotte and Becky versus Natalia Carmella and Tamina I'm gonna go with Naomi Charlotte and Becky because um for one they've all been established they're all former women's champions aside from I think Natalia won the Divas title a few times None of the other people on her team have done shit. Uh, you also have the thing that Carmella has never won on pay-per-view. Don't think that's going to change now. I, I'd be surprised if Tamina has won on pay-per-view as well. And frankly, who cares about Natalia? The only way I can see this going any differently is if they turn Becky heel at Backlash. If Becky turns heel, then the heels have to win. There's no way around that because they need a victory. But the way the match currently stands, it's got to be the faces. Naomi, Charlotte, and Becky. There's just no way, which raises the point of why are we even having this match already. Then we have Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles for the US title. I'm pretty sure I don't have to say this is going to be match of the night. If they were smart, they'd just put this on last, because why not? Now, I always say I want AJ Styles to win. But here's my argument why he shouldn't. Because Kevin Owens just won the title back. After Chris Jericho just won the title. After Kevin Owens had just won the title. After Chris Jericho had held it for two months and done nothing with the title. After Roman Reigns had it for a little bit, didn't really do much with it. So the US title has been on a downhill slide really bad. And we need Kevin Owens to win this match. Plus, I don't want AJ Styles buried in the mid card because you're going to need upper main event level guys. That's just my thought. Then we have the Usos versus Brazongo for the tag titles. Um, I want to say the Usos for the same reason as the last match, but I don't think the Usos are going to win. I think Brazongo is taking the tag titles. Why, you ask? Well, because Brazongo are more interesting. The Usos are barely on TV. So, let's go Brazongo. And then we have the main event, most likely, Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal. Now... There's a part of me that thinks, well, Jinder has a chance. Because if he didn't, they wouldn't have 
you know, giving him the wins, being number one contender anyway. But then the other part of me goes, uh, for one, this is Randy Orton. He doesn't really job unless he wants to. But also, Jinder still feels like a mid-card guy. He also stood tall in the last SmackDown before the show. And I mean, if Jinder gets the belt, who takes it off of him? How, how is that interesting to see AJ Styles chase Jinder Mahal? To see um, Randy Orton chase Jinder? Or Shinsuke? See my point? No matter how much I don't want to see Randy Orton with the belt, I don't want to see Jinder with the belt either. So, this is just a shitty match. This is probably going to be one of the worst parts of the show. Honestly, yeah, this is going to be the worst match on the card. I feel pretty confident with that. Owens HA will be the best match. Randy Orton retaining will be the worst match. And this show will just feel like a glorified episode of SmackDown comment if you think I'm right or if you think I'm wrong about some of the matches. I mean, if you have reasoning for it, I would love to hear it. I legitimately would because maybe I'm overlooking something. But Make sure to subscribe because I'll be putting up weekly old classic pay-per-view reviews. I'll also be reviewing Raw, SmackDown, I'm putting up random talking videos where I talk about things like uh, like if Samoa Joe is too far gone to be saved. I'll also start, be starting to do a Power 25-esque thing. Don't know how I'm going to work that yet, but I'm planning on it, and hopefully that'll be a good video series. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, blah, 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 blah. I kind of repeat myself a lot at the end, but thanks for watching. Peace out.